in the center of downtown Lillehammer, just below our broadcast position, is a tangible symbol of hope and remembrance. It's dedicated to the residents suffering in the former Yugoslavia, more specifically the war-ravaged city of Sarajevo, host of the 1984 Olympic Winter Games. This is a place where tourists can come and for a few pennies light a candle in remembrance for the 10,000 or so residents who've already lost their lives since the siege began almost two years ago. The Olympic movement here in Lillehammer has taken up the cause of those residents, many of whom still suffer every day. Ten years ago, we were in Sarajevo for the Olympic Games, a city then dedicated to sport, understanding, friendship, and peace. Sarajevo, whose people for over two years have suffered too much. Uh, Sarajevo was a place that I had my dreams answered. And now when I look back 10 years, it's hard to imagine that such a great group of people put on such a great Olympics and now to see all of the murder and bloodshed, I just can't believe it's the same place. It was my first Olympic Games, and so it was very, very exciting. And I, I really remember the team feeling as being there and representing your country. And, um, but of Sarajevo itself, I, I remember going into the old city. And uh, I was with a friend, and we, we went into a restaurant. And so we went to order, but there was really no menu, and I couldn't speak their language. They couldn't speak mine, and we were kind of using sign language. And the woman took me into the kitchen, she took me by the hand, she led me back into the kitchen. I think her husband was there with some pots on the stove, and she showed me all the different pots, lifted up the lids so I could see what was in them, and that's how I chose my dinner. And it, they were just very, very warm and um, very kind. I just have, have wonderful memories. Sarajevo, uh, at the Olympics, the people put on their best, and uh, they gave to, to, to give us you know, the best time in our life to make sure it was the best time in our life. And, and it was. Uh, the security people there were great. The volunteers were great. Uh, and the people we met in the hotels and the restaurants, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun. And it's, um, it's disturbing, you know, how much, how much it's changed. Because it's, um, it's almost like a photo negative, you know. It's just gone completely the other way. And it's, it's devastating. I think all of us that have, that, that spent those great days in our lives there. And it breaks my heart now to see what's happening. And uh, it's, you know, it's hard to believe that that's happened and when there was such great harmony at that particular time. It rips my heart out to see what's happened to, the, to our Olympic Village, to, um, to the venue where I competed, where you know, I stood on the podium next to Scott Hamilton and, and those images will stick in my head forever. So it, you know, it rips my heart out to see something, to see what's happening now. And, you know, it's, I've heard rumors of it being a morgue. I've heard rumors and stories that they've used the wood now to make coffins. And, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. I mean, it's tragic. We, I was just watching on the news the other day and seeing some of the buildings and um, just wondering, you know, what happened to the speed skating oval or the Olympic Village and things like that. Um, it's... I don't know what to say, war anywhere is, is horrible, but um, in a place that, that we've been before, it kind of hits a little bit closer to home and it's, uh, it's a sad thing. Hopefully we can resolve that. When I look back to that Olympics and being the first one, you know, I have a lot of good memories from there and the people in that, that town went out of their way to do everything they could to make you as comfortable and happy and uh, you know, that, that I think is what hit me so much is um, they, they, I had the same feeling, I think, as far as being in the town um, here as I did there. You know, they just did everything they could to go out of their way for everybody there. And it is, it's just a very sad situation what has happened. Amid the parade of athletes at the Lillehammer Olympics opening ceremony, March 14 Bosnian athletes. They, along with the world, heard President Samaranch's plea for sanity in Sarajevo. The message of the Olympic movement is stronger than ever. Please stop fighting. Please stop killing. Drop your guns, please.
International Olympic Committee President Juan Antonio Samaranch flew to Sarajevo and was there today. Rosalind Summers, you were there 10 years ago when you won a silver medal. Your thoughts when you look at that place today? It's so devastating and so touching. I, um, more, some pictures get me more than others. And yesterday I saw a picture in a magazine of the arena we competed in, the exact hill I walked down holding my mother's hand going out for those four minutes that, of my life that I looked forward to since I was seven. And that same hill, it showed the building and, and it was a graveyard. And, um, you know, I was 19 and even though I was ending my amateur career, I, had, I was full of hope and I was full of a future and a career and, and life was just starting for me. And, I mean, there's no future. There's no start for anything for anyone over there. Just really lays some perspective on you, huh? Every night, actually, on tour. On tour, you, you, on have a, you have a tribute mm -hmm. to Sarajevo, don't do. you? Can you tell me about that? Uh, Scott, Brian, Kitty and Peter, and myself. Scott Hamilton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every night um, on the Discover Card Stars and Ice Tour, we do a tribute and we dedicate it to the people of Sarajevo and reach the color of an Olympic ring. We trace the Olympic rings, and it's, it's very powerful music, and it's, it's our moment to, um, to really, I mean, every night we're reminded. 10 years ago of what it was and what it is now and we're sharing that with the audience and we're sharing that somehow um, across the world to those people. Mm -hmm. Well, Sumners. Mm -hmm. Well, up next, the bronze, silver and gold medal winning performances in Paris.